Acts 2 is a credible demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit being poured out on a group of individuals. And it's an example for us as ministers and as Christians and how we should be living our everyday lives. We are supposed to be living out this power demonstrated boldly and amazingly in Acts 2. But much like the set behind me, a lot of times there's no real power. It's kind of fake. It kind of falls flat. We, we find ourselves just talking about it. But where's the demonstration? For every sermon on teaching about the power of the Holy Spirit, how much more beneficial would it be if we, as pastors, demonstrated this? When's the last time we put ourselves in a situation where if God didn't show up, it wasn't going to happen? I think we can get very programmatic and we can put ourselves in these situations. Much like Francis Chan says, the band's going to be awesome. I'm going to tell that story. It's going to make him laugh. The Holy Spirit's going to show up whether he does or not. And the whole idea of this course is to challenge each of us to get out there and begin to demonstrate and really rely on this power from the Holy Spirit. But here's the thing. Talking about it all is kind of like Clark Kent talking about and telling you about Superman's powers. But he really should just be showing you Superman. So with that mentality, let's not just talk about reaching the lost through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's get out there and actually do it. Him in here. All right, cool. I'm on my way out. Let's go. All right, so here's the plan. We're going to head down to the mall. We're just going to walk up to total strangers. We're just going to ask people to pray for them. Basically. You understand the assignment? Yes. All right, let's go. Lily, Lily volunteered to go next. And she picked Hot Topic. Hi. Hello. Just the pen? Yes. Alright. And actually, I was wondering if there's anything I could pray for you for today. What was that? I was wondering if I could pray for you for anything today. Um, I'm not sure about anything off the top of my head, but you can do an overwhelming prayer of all of everything, okay? Okay. Um, um, do you mind if I ask what your name is? Zach. 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 Yes, yes. Zach. Yep. Um, God, I pray for Zach, and I pray that he does, he continues to do well at his job, and if there's anything he is looking forward to, that he's nervous about or excited about, that you'll help him with it and help him to be prepared for that. Listen, Amen. 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 Okay. Here's that, and it comes in 216. Um, don't be creepy. Like this. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? So, uh, my name's Jace. Um, I was wondering if there's anything you would like me to pray for you today? Anything for prayer? Yes, for prayer. Yes, my roof leaks. Your roof leaks? Yes. Alright. That is serious. Yes, okay. <laughs> Alright. Heavenly Father. Uh, can, actually, can I get your name quick? Rose. Rose? Heavenly Father, I pray for Rose. I pray that you can just help her with her roof leak, that everything just gets fixed up quickly and the right way. Thank you for her. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. You too. You're doing good work. Thank you. We're on our way out. I just want to say hi. I was wondering, um, you look like you've been here for a while. You look a little tired. You, you yeah, pray? man, I'm, I'm ready to go home. Yeah? <laughs> you, uh, you need prayer for anything? Uh, uh, rest, really. Rest? Yeah, okay. You know what? Just, uh, wisdom in my, in this season. Okay. Just to see, like, just, like what's next or just to be content you know i, I don't know to be honest. so i guess wisdom yeah okay cool cool i mean i'll be praying for you well. let me pray for you really quick if you don't mind or just pray uh for frank lord um this is the awesome transition that him and jenner are going to be going through lord i pray that you'll give him wisdom you'll give him guidance um help him to be the man that he wants to be and that you called him to be and lord i just pray for uh rest and strength throughout this period with all this extra planning and everything going on 
and probably picking up double shifts and everything to pay for the wedding and, and help with everything. So I just pray out uh, in his name. Amen. Amen. I haven't been using it a while. But. So, I'm gonna give this to you, but I need this back. So bring it back to me tonight, okay? Okay. Hey, that's cool. Like, not only did we get to do all the other stuff, we, we got to pray for two random people. Yeah. We got to be told no by one random person. Yeah. I got to pray for Frank, who's someone we know. And then we got to see two youth students who hopefully bring me my card back tonight. Yeah. So. I saw the tactic you were using. Yeah, mission success. <laughs> Let's head out. Go pray for it. I don't know. How do I pray for it? Go pray for the card, Jace. Go pray for the card. Come on. The card needs prayer. Lay hands and pray over it.